stasjon er Skien. Dette er togets ende stasjon. The next station is Skien. This is our final stop. As you can see, I am in a different place in this episode. I have one week off. We always do one week in the winter. So I have gone to my parents' flat and that is in Sheen. That's a completely different place in Norway. So I would like to show you a little bit of what it's like here. This is Telemark County. Um, I have had the camera with me a little bit outside and I will show you something that is quite typical of the old um, typical Norwegian um, 1800 culture and part of it is what I have in the background. This is um, that will be uh, rose painting. I don't know if that's the usual word. Uh, it's quite typical, but still, if it is Norwegian, it's um, inspired from other cultures, as everything in the folk tradition is. So I have some photos for you, and I, if I put it in front or after this speech, I don't know, uh, but you will see a little bit from the museum. The museum is closed. Uh, unfortunately, I'm so sorry. Every winter when I go here, I cannot go inside. But a lot of old buildings from whole uh, Telmark, that would be Bø, Seljord, Heddar, everywhere in the... Uh, in the, uh, the villages around, because I am now in the city. My mother is from the countryside and that's, um, I guess, where I had 
this old furniture and all that national costumes, uh, the traditions are stronger. So, but I would like to uh, to show you now. I have some minutes alone because this is a uh, uh, one week with family, all day long, and I would like to show you a little bit of what I have been knitting. When I went on this travel, uh, I went by uh, plane and I went by train, so I had a lot of time to knit, and I wanted to make something simple, and I had saved this from this journey. I am making Shimning Shawl by Sophia Comerborn. This is the pattern. I'm going to meet her in only two weeks uh, in Orkanger. I really look forward to that. And this is uh, uh, how far I have got. It's a little bit difficult to show you. Uh, it's a lot of garter stitch and a little bit of stockinette. It's quite thin. It's a BFL. A hand dyed by Nina Petrina, she's a Norwegian. Very nice colors and um, very soft, even though it's wool. I bought this many years ago at Midnorsk Strikke Festival, a knit festival. And this is a very nice project. I kind of put it away a little bit because I wanted to do something else that I could knit now when I can concentrate a little bit. It's not easy to concentrate with people all around <laughs> every minute of the day, but I try. I have made a lot of hats. Um, first, I made this one. This is made in uh, Nepal. It's a uh, drops yarn with wool and al alpaca. This was too small for me. I, one size never fits me, so I put it away and I knit a bigger one. It's a kind of a uh, braid pattern, very easy, um, yeah, like this. I like to wear hats like this, not too big. I don't like anything else on the top, just plain hat. And I made this one because this uh, color is more easy to, to use to everything. And I wanted to make one for my knees. And then I made another one, should be exactly the same as this, only I had uh, thinner needles, so this is too small. So I had to knit another one, so I hope this is going to be the right size. She will be here now any minute, so I will try. Maybe I can have a photo of her. I just wait with the, with the decreasing, uh, so I know it's the right size. So I have been knitting hats. Another thing that I wanted to do uh, while I was here was a shawl that I had had in my queue for a long time. That is uh, Lysning by Skander Knits. I guess a lot of you have seen it. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, you should. She's Norwegian, uh, but she lives in England, uh, in London, and she speaks English much better than I do. But I have started to uh, to knit this one. This is based. I think she got the inspiration from Fairy's shawls. Um, it's garter stitch with a lace pattern. That is not something I have made ever before, I think. So this is how far I have come. I started with more than 300 stitches. So now I am decreasing and working my way down in a number of stitches. I had to concentrate a little bit to, to get it right uh, and I have counted and counted a lot of times uh, with people around me talking so I have been making some stupid mistakes and had to rip up and do it again but now I think this is uh, going the right way. <laughs> this is Hillesvåg, Sølje, no Hillesvåg, Vilje, Lamb's Wool and I have dyed it myself. I haven't dyed that much but I have started to do it. I love to make shawls um, and because I am here <coughs> at my mother's house I have some shawls that I have made for her so I wanted to show you and I have something else I almost forgot. Um, Aurora shawl is a Norwegian pattern. Um, I have made two of these shawls. I think I have had this on 
several episodes, but I can show you. This is the first I made. The wool is, or the yarn, is a merino, hand dyed of um, Ultösna. That's a Norwegian site. They also have a YouTube channel in Norwegian called Marit's Garn Cows. This is really nice. There are a lot of um, different panels with um, different patterns and garter stitch in between. You start to knit here and then you work your way. This is very soft and nice and um, merino. I wanted to make another one so I made one from cotton and viscose and linen blend. Um, completely different colors and I changed color every time there was a new panel. So here's where I started. And the pattern is more uh, clear because the yarn is, a, is not so <laughs> busy. I really like it. It's not a winter shawl, it's more for the summer. It's long and nice and it is not so big in front when I, when I use my shawls. I usually do like this in the winter. In the summer you could have it over your shoulders. Course. So I finished this one on this trip. I had, I think, two or three uh, projects I had to take out of my suitcase. Uh, there, there was too much in the suitcase. So uh, um, the things that I had nearly finished, um, I would like to, uh, to do it now, but it's not here. I I have knit this for my mother and I thought I would show you. This is a pattern called uh, Lovely Leaf Shawl in English. It's Norwegian also. It's both in English and Norwegian. And Stricke Lisa is the designer. I made a lot of these shawls. I love them. Look at the nice uh, leaf that border this shawl. The yarn is Viking, Nordlys. Um, one of them are changing colors and the other one is the same, I guess you can see. Um, my mother has it. She loves the same colors as I do. And I have another one that I made for my mother in the summer. And this is a Dotted Race by Stephen West. This is a linen and cotton yeah, blend something. Different. This is kind of a scrap yarn. I had a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and uh, this is how it went. <laughs> I like this very much, and I use it a little bit now. Because um, this one, Aurora shawl, I'm going to give to my sister in law, Marita, because this is her colors, not mine. I cannot keep all my shawls, I have too many. Another thing that I'm going to do. Is I'm going to mend my brother's sweater. He has bought uh, some years ago, I think, a sweater called Telemark. It's very nice. It's made, I think it's machine knit. Um, and this is what it looks like it's wool. And on the shoulder here you have Telemark. I hope you can see it. This is very nice, very traditional, uh, a lovely sweater. Uh, my brother is out working. Um, um, yeah, he has, I think this is his third sweater of this kind. And the, the two others are really destroyed by working. And now he, when he was here, I could see that he had got some holes. So here, I don't know if you can see it, but he has been, um, I don't know, uh, hooked up by something. And there are at, at least two places where this should be mended. And I said to him, I would like to try to do it, even though I don't know if I will make it really nice. Uh, and he also has worn it so much, it's uh, a hole up here. So I went to Husfriden, that's the most traditional uh, yarn store where you can also buy national costumes. I have some uh, recordings so you will see 
in front or after. And I went there with this and I said, I would like to, to mend it for my brother. Um, and I was so unsure what kind of uh, yarn I would have to use. But the, no problem, because they said, oh, we know this sweater very well. So she went directly to the Fienul shelves and got this one, the color 4078. And then I got some, this is for weaving actually, but this is exactly the same color. So now I am going to try to make, to embroider with knit stitch. I don't know what the word is in English, but I will try to mend it. Um, if it doesn't really get very well, it will be better than nothing because this can be disaster. <laughs> and so nice sweater, it has to be repaired. Um, that's what I am going to, um, to do before I go back. I had a, a kind of a, not a knit night, but a cafe uh, with other post podcasters. Uh, I can give you the link. That's Norwegian Torette on Vrang. That would, yeah, that's a, um, in YouTube. And Strikkeflokken, that's an audio podcast, but all in Norwegian. And we met in a very big yarn store in Sheen this city and a lot of people came and we had a very nice time and I will give you some impressions not the talking uh, recording but the other things uh, I didn't manage to, to record a lot because I was supposed to talk to people also I bought some sock yarn um, hot socks grundel I think maybe I can use this in uh, shawls that's always my thought when I find nice nice uh, yarn. I don't usually show uh, what I buy and I haven't bought a lot of yarn recently but uh, I wanted to show this. This was um, reduced price and I bought a very special yarn. I have never seen something like it. Gomi Tolo Molto. I think this is uh, Lana Grossa Italian, isn't it? Very exciting. Maybe this will be a shawl. I don't know. It's a blend of yarn and acrylic, yarn, wool and acrylic. So I had a nice time here um, in my parents' flat, uh, going on short walks, spending time with my nephews and nieces, and I knit as much as I can. And then I have to go back. But I would like to show you a little bit about the culture and history of Telemark. So you will see some photos. I'm going out in the city quite soon with my niece. Uh, we're going to do some photo uh, recording and some photo shoots. <laughs> Let's see uh, how it turns out. You will see the result. Um, I think that's about it. And then uh, when I go back, uh, Janne has made a lot of recordings, I hope. Uh, back home. She has had a lot of knit cafes. She had had some, um, I don't know, a lot of things going on. And if she manage, she will uh, record and send them to me and I will make a kind of Janne special edition. <laughs> so that's my uh, trip to Telemark. Now when I go home, I will start really to look forward to my next trip and that is Orkanger and I will meet a lot of international designers, YouTubers, um, yeah, I don't know exactly, I, uh, I'm so uh, thrilled this is uh, uh, Mitt Norsk Knitting Festival that has a kind of a kickoff. I will explain more in the next episode. So I thought I would take you on the trip so I will uh, have my camera on uh, so often um, that I can. Um, it's not always very easy to be a place and to kind of participate and still uh, do the recording. That's what you have to split. It's difficult. So um, I hope you enjoy this episode, a kind of Telemark special. So enjoy what I have for you now. I forgot to say what I am wearing. If you wonder what this is, this is Midsummer's cardigan. 
and it is designed by Anne Kerstin Hegdar. I will put a link to my Ravelry project so you can find it if you want to. It is both in Norwegian and in English. And it is knit uh, in Holst Super Soft. So now you know. Thank you. 
Katsokaa kuinka minä pyydystän sen haaviini, hän huusi. Hän juoksi edellä 